In FeatureCam 2013, start curves can now be set as feed moves. In this example you can see we've got a number of turn operations on this part. If I go ahead and play the 3D simulation, note on the three-quarter view we can see here we've got a very narrow channel that we're trying to get the tool to groove this operation. To control the movement of the tool through that narrow channel we've established both a start curve and an end curve. These prevent any collisions with the rest of the part. However, if I was to hide everything, in this case I'm going to say hide all, hide these two operations and just show this operation. I view the centerline simulation using the Alt F3 you can see as we move along this start curve the green indicates that this is a rapid move. However, if I stop the simulation I can actually go into that feature into the roughing, into the feeds and speeds area and you know we have a new option that says feed from start point or curve. If I check this box I can use the rapid on curve which is the same default option we used to have in the original turning tab or in this case you can see I've got a feed on curve option. I can select that option and I can enter my feeds I can either enter a single value or I can actually enter multiple values with a comma separator. This will basically take the fastest move all the way down to the last segment of the curve before using the slowest feed rate. Centerline simulation you can now see the colour of the curve has changed because we are now using the feed move. We can also set in the machining attributes and the miscellaneous area we can also set this to be the default behaviour.